What about backlinks available on Fiverr, like Web 2.0, some DA70 plus subdomain links, directory submissions, link, et cetera, because not everyone can afford expensive services during the initial days? Um, yeah, so this kind of stuff is generally uh, trash, junk, spam, whatever you want to call it. Um, some of it, some of it, if you use it in moderation, as in not a lot, and you're getting the right gigs, then some of it can make decent uh, like foundational link building or kind of like link diversification kind of tools. Um, but in general, uh, most of these stuff, um, you know, I've, I've looked at these gigs, I've ordered the gigs, I've done videos on these gigs. Um, they're, they're rough, right? They're, <laughs> they are, uh, you know, we have sites repeatedly coming into our managed link building service where we're auditing their backlink profile. We open up Ahrefs, we look at their backlinks and we go, okay. So yeah, these guys came to us. They bought some links from Fiverr, their rankings crashed. Now they're here because they spent some money and everything crashed and now they have no idea what to do. So they've finally said, okay, we'll let someone that knows what they're doing um, try to fix our situation, right? Um, but anyway, um, subdomains are not great. Um, like basically everything that you've mentioned in your in your thing, these are kind of like old school abused uh, kind of like black hat tactics that um, yeah, can make diversification tools, a little bit of foundational link building, but most people don't use them like that. They use them like what you're talking about, which is they're trying to use it as the backbone of their link building campaign. And that's when you get yourself in some trouble. Um, what do you got on that one, Nick? Yeah, so, you know, Fiverr is a huge resource and there's all sorts of stuff on there. Um, the issue with a lot of it is that people are going to go in there and click, I want backlinks. There's going to be all these deals where they're saying, hey, you get this many backlinks, 1,000, 10,000, whatever, you know, um, for 50 bucks, 100 bucks. Um, and it's just going to spam your site out. If you're on Fiverr, then, you know, strategically kind of look for what you want, because there is a huge variance of, you know, tools available to you there. Um, but like, you know, if you haven't done any pillowing and you're going to Fiverr to try and save some money, don't go to these I'll give you 200 link people. Go look for smaller people offering maybe a little bit better quality. So we'll make you uh, five manually created Web 2.0s with uh, human written content on it or something like that. Um, you know, blog comments manually done, not on auto um, approved sites, things like that. But what you're going to come to find is in trying to find a vendor that's reputable and then diversifying the type of backlinks that you get um you know and just speaking from us well ultimately like if you just came in and bought our pillow link pack you'd be happier and in a better position um and that's why we developed it right like these were all tools that like we've been using over the years as well so um you know it's not to say that you can't get a good link on fiverr you could yeah you could even go find maybe somebody that's got like a decent network of guest posts on there but in the end, if you find a vendor, they're still going to charge you um, a decent amount. And there is not going to be some get 100 links hack that's automatically going to position you where you want to be or beat out your competition. It just doesn't work that way. Otherwise, I'd be the first to tell you that I'm doing it all the fucking time. And, um, you know, I'm just not. <laughs> yeah, if it, if it was that easy, um, you know, agencies <laughs> like us wouldn't exist. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, we wouldn't be able to support ourselves because everyone would just go on Fiverr and get the job done for, you know, 20 bucks or whatever and call it a day. But it's not long. how it works. We didn't even start in those days, right? Like, uh, you know, that was like 15 plus years ago that that kind of stuff was working. Yeah. Hey everyone, thanks for watching. Be sure to check the links below for more info on this topic, as well as other cool stuff like SEO case studies, our Facebook community, and our link building services. And like always, please like, comment, and subscribe if you enjoyed the video. Thanks, and happy ranking.